So the question that I have, and I know, you know, we've got a fair number of listeners in Tennessee, and I know we've got a lot of people who watch the program on Free Speech TV, on Dish Network Direct TV in, in Tennessee. In particular, we've taken a lot of calls from Tennessee over the years. So those of you who are in Tennessee, maybe, maybe, and I, I, it looks to me like all our lines are full right now, so you might not get through, but um, if you can try and get in. Um, if you live in Tennessee, is there something in the water? I don't get it. Um, Bob Corker, Republican senator from Tennessee. Lamar Alexander, Republican ten- senator from Tennessee. You all have two Republican senators in Tennessee. And out of all the Republicans in the United States Senate, and there's almost 50 of them, these two crazies just introduced a plan to raise the federal debt limit by a trillion dollars. And as I pointed out, the president should just laugh at them and go ahead and just say, you know, this thing is unconstitutional. We'll see you in court. And in the meantime, we're going to, you know, the full faith and credit of the United States shall not be questioned. He should literally laugh at them. The guy's a constitutional law. He was a professor of constitutional law. He's read the Constitution. But what they want to do is they want to say, okay, we will raise the debt limit by a trillion dollars. Now, keep in mind, this does not give the president the authority to spend one extra dollar. Raising the debt limit does not mean that the president or Congress or anybody else can borrow and spend or tax and spend or anything. It's got nothing to do with new expenditures. What raising the debt ceiling does is it allows the Department of the Treasury to pay the bills that were run up during the George W. Bush administration for two wars that were not put on, that were not put on the budget. They were put on our national credit card for Medicare part D that was put on the national credit card and for a massive recession that's costing the the country a lot of money in both lost tax revenue and expenses associated with people being out of work, everything from unemployment to to Medicaid, Medicaid. But these two crazy, crazy guys, I, 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 I don't know how to, you know, Bob Corker and Lamar Alexander, the two Republican senators from Tennessee, are saying... We'll raise the debt ceiling by a trillion dollars if you will cut, specifically, Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid by a trillion dollars. Let me say that again. These guys, I, you know, how can, how can, you, how can you all in Tennessee send people to the United States Senate who do things like this? Medicaid provides for health care for poor children. Medicare, and, and also for, you know, it's, it's the major source of support for people in, in nursing homes. Medicare is health care for people over 65, and Social Security, a third of Social Security payments go to people who are, you know, like Paul Ryan when he was a teenager and his dad died. His, his mom went on Social Security survivor benefits. It's literally widows, orphans, and disabled people. A third of Social Security. And the remaining two-thirds has, has taken poverty among seniors from 20, 30, 40 percent down into the teens. I mean, it's, it's more than cut in half poverty among seniors. It's old age anti-poverty insurance. But these three programs are not just for old people. If you're 20 years old, you should you should be concerned that Social Security is around because you could get in a car accident, God forbid, and end up in a wheelchair, and you will be on Social Security. In all probability. Or you might lose your job and you know get get financially wiped out. Have to declare bankruptcy, get you know, lose everything, and if you got student loans, you can't even discharge those in bankruptcy, thanks to the great bankruptcy reform that we got during the Bush administration. And you end up broken in debt. And you notice, hey, I get this pain in my side. 
or this lump in my breast or something going on with my guts and I don't know where what where's the, you know what and who's going to pay for the doctor that's medicaid if you're 20 years old 30 years old I'm 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 not talking to seniors here seniors understand all this stuff I'm talking to y'all in Tennessee who are in your 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s, who are in your teenage, well, in your teenage years, you can't vote until you're 18, so, but you can still, you can still call and raise hell with, you know, call your senator's office and say, what? You want to do what to my grandparents, to my parents, to my brothers and sisters, to me in a couple of years? Lamar Alexander and Bob Corker, today, said cut $1 trillion out of Social Security, Medicare, and Social Security. And as I just pointed out, these are not just programs for old people. Probably a little more than half of them in total goes to old people, but that means in the neighborhood of half of them goes to people who are not old people. That's you in Tennessee. So if you live in Tennessee, if you if you understand what's going on, I don't get it. How how how, how do these guys think they're going to get reelected? I know you know Tennessee is not full of stupid people. There's a lot of good smart people in Tennessee. Was uh, Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone those those stories were those Tennessee or Kentucky? I I think that was Kentucky, wasn't it? The Kentucky rifle and the whole thing. That was Tennessee. Down in Tennessee. Oh, thank you, Jim. Yeah, right there in the song, Tennessee. Okay, well, you know, there's that idea that, you know, we can make it on our own. You know, I'm Daniel Boone or Davy Crockett, and I don't, I don't need any great society or social security. Or, Well, you just wait until you lose your job or, or get injured. Or your parents need to be put into a nursing home. Because you just can't care for them at home anymore because you got to work or because their disabilities are getting so bad or whatever. Yeah, I mean, the day is going to come for all of us. And Lamar Alexander and Bob Corker, the two Republican senators from Tennessee, want to say we're going to hold hostage the debt limit ceiling. The ability of the federal government to pay bills run up by George W. Bush, we're going to hold that hostage. And what we want for that is a trillion dollars in cuts. A trillion. You know, a thousand million is a billion, a thousand billion is a trillion. They want a trillion dollars in cuts in Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. These guys are nuts!